half number two as the ball is sent right down in the pitch defensive end. And it'll go to Sorrells, and he will cover it up. Ball in the midfield area, controlled by Wadsworth. That time, Watson trying to hit Van Eck as the ball goes beyond the far sideline. And it'll be a throw-in for the pitch, Brody Herman, to do that. Looking for Mickey. Ball intercepted. Played back to the defense and played down by Charlie Huffman. Sent right down the middle of the field, but just a little bit too far as chasing it down is Innocente. Innocente still with the ball, and it goes out of play and across the goal line, so it'll be a goal kick for Fitch. Innocente challenging four Fitch defenders and unable to get a shot off. Ball going into the midfield circle. Spalding with it down the side. Mickey trying to use his speed to chase it down, and nothing called. Mickey controls it, far corner. Ball still loose, and it'll be sent out of play by Sir Lewis. Tanner Sir Lewis, and it's going to be last touch, however, by Fitch. So... Sir Lewis will throw it from, nope, that'll be uh, number 15, Dominic Gambassini that got it in play. Ball into the top of the box and chipped out of play. Across this near sideline. Last touched by Wadsworth, throw in for the Falcons as Bernie will do that. Josiah Bernay looking for Puzz, Puzz. Has the ball go over the top of his head, and it rolls and bounces right into the waiting arms of Nick Homick. And he will play it to the midfield area. That one takes a huge bounce. Way up into the air now. Headed off uh, by number 21, Timmy Steyer. Sent right back down to the defensive end, and it'll be played back off of the head of Sir Lewis into the goalkeeper's hand of... Nick Homick and Nolan Mickey there just in case there was any type of rebound. Ruggles back to Galvez with control as James intercepted Bernie near sideline. Nobody here for Fitch and it's run down by Innocente. Nelsente passing it. Ball gets away from the defense and an opportunity as Bernay saw that the uh, the, the offender Zakikian was right there at the top of the box and cleared it. Now it's out of there by Herman off the head of Mickey. Puzz with it. Puzz still gaining control. Good battle with Watson. And now he finally gets it up to Nicky. Nicky. Nicky looking it. And up to Ruggles. Ruggles. S try to cross one. Intended for Spalding. Spalding will chase it down. He's going to play it back to Herman, who chips one in. Puzz trying to do a bicycle kick there and missed it. Innocente loses it to Puzz. Puzz gets around one defender. Ruggles with the go, and he goes down. And is there anything? No. So Ruggles lost his balance, went down, and it was cleared away by Wadsworth. Bizzoni sends one in, but it had already crossed the near side line. So it'll be a throw in for. Wadsworth off the head of Bernay. Up into the air by Mike Watson and then grabbed by Sorrells. 
Jamie Sorrells into the midfield area. That one will go out of bounds on the far side. Linus Steyer headed it. Herman over the top of Nolan Mickey. And that one's played out of bounds. As trying to catch up with him from Wadsworth was Dominic Gambassini, but couldn't quite do it. And it's going to be a throw in for Fitch. Cleared out of there, out of the 18 yard box. Sent to the middle of the field. With it, Zakikian. He rolls one over on this sideline, and it'll go out of play. And the Falcons will have it. Bear will throw it in. Gets it to Bernai. Bernai looking for a teammate. And that pass just a little bit too long, but goes off of the knee of Homick. Picking it up on a nice play is Van Eck as he gets it out of harm's way. Good sliding tackle by Galvez to take it right back again. Ruggles gets a pass from Spalding. Mickey has it taken away from him and it is now in possession of Van Eck of Wadsworth. He sends a ball down and nice play by Gozini. Excuse me, Gozoni. Sent down toward the, the Fitch defensive end. Passes into the hands of the goalkeeper, Sorrells, who now plays it to the midfield. With it, Dominic Gambassini, and the Falcons get it right back. Bernai. Galvez. Pass on this near side, Nolan Mickey. Mickey trying to get around the defense and couldn't do it. Good defensive play by Tanner Sir Lewis. Forcing Nolan Mickey to not get a foot on the ball. But it did go over the goal line, so it's going to be a corner kick. Josiah Bernai, near side, right-footed kick. And that one is cleared out of there. And across the far sideline by Keelan McComas. So it'll be a throw in. And that will be in the hands of Herman. Jumping high and heading it out was Watson. Fitch getting it back. Carson to Bernay, but nobody over on the far side. Now Galvez intercepts one. Bernai gets it from Galvez. Looking for some help. Sends it over on this near sideline. Bear will roll it back to his goalkeeper, Sorrells, and he will send it across to Carson. And that one intercepted. But coming out of nowhere was Bernai. Good hustle play by Bernai, and he keeps it in play. Gazzoni up to Puzz. Now possession retained by Wadsworth. That one goes off a of Puzz, off the foot of McComas. Across the way. Steyer with it. Ball up the far sideline. Intercepted by Fitch. Goes out of pounce by Herman. And it's a throw in for the Grizzlies. Coming off the bench, Gavin Gambassini, number 18, replacing J.J. Zakikinen, number 14. So Gambassini back in the lineup, ball up into the air. That one comes down in possession of the Falcons. Puzz with it. Spalding. Ruggles. Mickey. Back to Galvez. Over to Puzz. Back to Bear, Carson, Herman, Ruggles, sent over the midfield line. Mickey heads it back, 
and finally controlled by Wadsworth as they chip it down and an opportunity here and it's a goal Alex Innocente with a goal he beat Sorrells to Sorrells right and just inside the far post and we finally have a score up on the board as Wadsworth takes a one to nothing lead. Now the Falcons again having an opportunity to clear the ball but they did not do it and Osente was right there to capitalize on it and that puts the Grizzlies up so Wadsworth with a one to nothing lead. And we got a player down. And that being Timmy Steyer. So we'll take a short break here as they tend to Tim. 29.35 to go here in this one. It's one nothing Wadsworth. Timmy Steyer of Wadsworth up on his feet, but walking off very, very slowly. And let's hope that he is okay and we get to see him later on. Twenty-nine thirty-five left here in this second half. Wadsworth scoring a goal at the twenty-nine forty-nine mark here of the second half by Alex Innocente and they lead one to nothing. And we are just about ready to begin again and the Falcons will put it back in play. They had possession when they called time to Tend to Timmy Steyer, and the Falcons now have it. Galvez, near side, Herman, Josiah Bernay, that one picked off, taken away by McComas. Ball down into the Fitch defensive end. Bernay with it. Pass on the near side. Herman looking for a teammate. Off the foot of Galvez and taken away by James. James gets it. Innocente. And good sliding tackle by Bernay to take the ball away from Innocente. But it's going to remain in the possession of Wadsworth with a throw in from this near side as McComas will take that. They have five in the 18-yard box, and that one up into the air, and it 
will be out of play. So it will be a goal kick for Sorrells. Jamie Sorrells, one of seven seniors that was honored here earlier tonight before the game. And we'll let you know those seven seniors again once the game has concluded. Puzz got knocked to the ground. They called a foul on Wadsworth, so that'll give it a free kick to Fitch. Bernie will take it off the throw in, off the kick in. Puzz with it. Shoots it over to Spalding. Spalding into the box and that one will go out of play off the foot of Sir Lewis and a throw in for Fitch. Wadsworth trying to gain control and it's headed out. Good play by McComas. Falcons get it back and now it's a whistle and once again a foul called on Wadsworth. So it'll be the Falcons with a free kick. Bernie hurries, sends one down and it's blocked. Hommick with a great save falling to his left with two hands, blocked it. Oh, Bernie with a beautiful opportunity there. Great kick, but Hommick to the task. Keeps Fitch off the scoreboard, but we have a corner. Spalding sends a high into the air off the head of Puzz. And out by Watson. That shot by Herman blocked at the defense. And that one played back. Sorrell's 30 yards out of his goal, make it 40. And finally, the ball is sent down the far sideline, and Sorrells will get that one as it goes over the goal line. And a whistle was called. So we had a penalty called on, again, I'm sorry, it was a foul called on Wadsworth. So Jamie Sorrells will take the free kick. Falcons have five in the defensive end of Wadsworth. That one comes in. Spalding takes it on the fly and then headed out. Headed right back in again by Hayden Bauer, number two, who's in the game for Fitch. Across the far sideline, and they're going to say it was last touched by the Grizzlies. Quick throw in intended for Puzz. Watson intercepting it, and he sends one across the way. Once again, Falcons get it in quickly. Puzz surrounded by Grizzlies. Sent up the far sideline. Spalding goes down, but Van Eck maintains control. Now Spalding gets it back. Spalding centers one. Nobody there for Fitch. Cleared it to defense. Bernay gets it. Trying to get one over to Nick Paul. Ball still loose inside the box. And Galvez rolls one over. Puzz has it, and the shot off of the post on the near side. Ball in the box and finally cleared away. Oh, man, an opportunity for the Falcons, and Puzz with a great shot hit the post on the near side. Now the Falcons putting some heat on. Still have not got the ball behind Homick. Pass up the far sideline. That one up to Van Eck. He sends it down. Carson watching it, watching it, and finally sends it over the far sideline. So it will be a throw in for Wadsworth. Boy, that's the best opportunity the Falcons have had here tonight. And by a couple of inches, they did not score. Van Eck throwing it in. Back to him. And stolen away and cleared by Carson. Midfield area blocked down by Sir Lewis in the possession of Wadsworth. Gambosini to this near sideline. And the ball goes out of play off the foot of Sakikian. 
So it'll be a throw in for the Falcons. Throwing it in was Herman. And let's see, did we get a foul called? I think we did. Yep. So foul called on Wadsworth. Herman sets it down. He's in his own defensive zone, looking somewhere around the top of the box. Sends one down there, and it's picked off at the defense by McComas. Across the way now, Ruggles. Van Eck battling with Ruggles. Intercepted. That one off the foot of Bauer, but right back down into the Fitch defensive end. Watson, near side, intercepted. Nice play by Herman. Herman with an opportunity, got some space, sends a nice ball down this near sideline, but it goes out of play as Nick Paul and Tanner Sir Lewis watching the ball go across this near side. It'll be a throw in for Wadsworth. Nice high throw in. That looked like it almost went off the hand of number 14's Akikian, but nothing called. Akikian still with control, and down goes Bernai, but the ball goes out of play and continued possession by Wadsworth. And they're going to back up. The throw in from Gambasini, excuse me, from McComas. McComas gets it in. Chipped up in the air by Harrison James and all the way back to Jamie Sorrells, but a whistle and it'll be put into play by Wadsworth on the Fitch foul as McComas will take it just inside the Fitch defensive end. He is out by the midfield marker. Sends to the top of the box, off the head of Carson, way up into the air. Puzz trying to control it. Chests it down. And that one by McComas hits Puzz. Ball still in the possession of Fitch. Bernie joins the fray. That one still loose. Ruggles collides with Dominic Gambasini, and it's going to be a foul called, and I think we got a yellow card. And we did. So Galvez will come off the field. Must have said something. So he will take a breather. And going in for him is Nolan Mickey. Twenty minutes, fifty-six seconds left here in the second half. One to nothing. Wadsworth on a goal by Innocenti. Puzz trying to make a play but couldn't. Taken away from him. Pass from Zakikian down into the near side corner goes too far, crossing the goal line, and it'll be a goal kick for Jamie Sorrells. So the Falcons trying to mount some kind of offense here. They've already had one carom off the post. And a foul called on Harrison James as he took Bernie down. A couple of sevens going down. Off the head of Paul to the far side. Ball stolen away by Fitch in the middle. Bernai looking for a teammate. Bauer back to Carson. He has a couple of options. He'll play it across to Paul. No, excuse me, that's Bear. Josiah Bernai back to Bear. Now to Herman. Herman. Ruggles. Blocked at the defense. Nice play that time by Watson. Watson has it dribbling. Top of this box. Shoots one, and that was off of the defender. I believe that came off of Bear and right into the hands of Sorrells as he clears it. Bauer losing it. 
sliding tackle. Nice play that time by Carson. Pass goes just a little bit too far for Puzz down this near side. Zakikian to his left with it is Russell taken away. Nice play by Bernai. Puzz to get around one defender. He gets around two defenders, still dribbling the ball. Knocks down Zakikian. And Bernai will take that pass. Puzz blocks the ball, runs it down, chips it back. Bauer with it. That gets behind him, but he'll play it right back to Sorrells. Sorrells will give it right back to Bauer. Bauer up to Carson. Carson sends it across the way. Spalding chips one up into the air, midfield area. Ball chased down and finally sent to the near side by Gavin Gambasini. Zakikian gets trying to steal it. Still hasn't gotten to it as Puzz has it. Puzz gets pushed to the ground. That play by Gavin Gambasini, and there was a whistle and a foul called on Gambasini. Herman with the opportunity here on the free kick. Brody Herman sends it down this near sideline. Josiah Bernai with it. Bernai has it go off his foot and across the near sideline, so it's a throw in. 17.35 left here in the second half. One to nothing. Wadsworth. Van Eck coming in, going out is Russell. Throw in for Wadsworth off the head of Bernai. Ruggles loses control. Picked up by James. Lead pass down the far sideline, chasing it down is Innocente. Innocente has that one partially blocked as Ruggles will clear it. A little bit too far for Nick Paul, but he's going to come back and doesn't quite get to it as the Grizzlies clear it down to their defensive end. McComas, nobody there down this near sideline, blocked down by Bear, chipped back up into the air, and that one will go into the waiting hands of Sorrells. Well, it's been overcast and threatening, but it really hasn't rained up other than a couple of little sprinkles at the beginning of the game. So we've been pretty lucky with that as the sun actually is starting to come out a little bit. So thinking that there would have been a downpour, and that just hasn't happened. So very fortunate up to this point. I hope I didn't jinx us. That went over the top of the head that time of Van Eck out of play, and it's going to be a goal kick as it goes over the goal line. 15.55 to go. Falcons looking to tie this one up. One to nothing our score. Wadsworth with the only goal so far. Ruggles controls it. Bauer across the way. No, Spalding keeps it in play, but a little bit too far for Mickey, and it's taken back by Watson. Ball rolled up to James. James still in control. Across the way, and nice play. Couple of twos. Bauer taking it right off the foot of Innocente and sending it across the far sideline. Shot on goal. One bouncer into the waiting arms of Sorrell. That came off the foot of Innocente. So Sorrell's right there. Bernay, lead pass, a little bit too far, and Nick Paul not able to catch up with it as Tomek clearing it out to the midfield area. Off the head of Carson. Carson battling with Luke Perry. Out of play it goes off of Fitch. Inbounder by Dominic Gambasini. Gambasini looking for a, a teammate. Can't find one as he gets it to Ruggles as he intercepts it. And coming right back is Innocente. And 
Chipped away from him by Carson. Nice play. Bauer, good pass to his left. Ruggles looking for some help. Plays it back. Bernie. Midfield circle. Lead pass. That one intended for Spalding. Spalding will catch up with it. To Paul. Nick Paul. Back to Spalding. That one blocked at the defense off of Watson. And Watson will pick it up and keep it in play. Good defensive play by Watson that time. Anticipated the shot. Watson gets around one defender. Sends it down the far sideline. Innocente takes it back. Gavin Gambasini loses it. Mickey. Ruggles. Bernay. Bauer. Off of Puzz. Puzz gets it back. Spalding. Bernay, midfield circle. Falcons looking to try to maintain this attack. And Van Eck with a quick steal. And now the ball is headed into the Fitch defensive zone, broken up a little bit by Bear, but the Grizzlies get it right back again, although it's stolen away by Bauer. Off in Ocente. Spalding across the way, and Mickey can't control it, and it goes out of play. So it's a throw in for Wadsworth. 12 minutes, 35 seconds left. One to nothing, the Grizzlies. Number 17 back in the lineup for the Grizzlies, Caden Whited. And let's see, we got a, another substitute coming in, but it, he will not come in at this moment. Now he might. That one goes out of play off Fitch. And let's see, coming back into play is J.J. Zakikian. So Zakikian with some fresh legs back in. Spalding, Mickey, Burnai. That lead pass intercepted. Nice play by McComas. Falcons looked like they were going to set something there. It was going to be a connection, but it didn't happen. And that one behind Mickey, but he turns and still maintains some control. Ruggles gets it, sends it down into the near corner, and just a little bit too far, and making sure that Mickey can't get his foot on it was Sir Lewis. So a throw in for Fitch right below us here on this near sideline as we've got all ones on the board, 11-11 to go. Bernay, a ball opportunity, and it goes just past the far post. Spalding right there, but he could not deflect it in, and it'll be a goal kick for Wadsworth. So an opportunity goes awry for the Falcons. Hummock, not in any kind of hurry here. Sends it to the midfield circle. Bauer. Ruggles gets it from Puzz, near side. Herman. Puzz had two defenders on him, lost it. But now Paul... And as Nick, yeah, Nick Paul goes to the ground, so it's going to be a free kick for Fitch. And Nick Paul will, let's see, is he going to take it? Nope, Herman's going to take it. So Brody Herman to take it. 40 yards out from net. Herman down right in front, and we've got a collision here as Puzz runs into Homick. And I believe he is going to get a yellow card. Hopefully it's not a red card. And it's not. It's a yellow. So Puzz has to come out of the game. Homick seems to be okay. Back in for the Grizzlies. Harrison James, number seven. And coming in for the Falcons for the first time is Jackson Potkanicki. So 
sending it away is the keeper, Hamick. Balled in the near side, kept in play. Nice play that time by Inocente. Inocente gets around one, sends it to the top of the box. Ball still loose, finally cleared away to defense by Fitch and now sent toward the midfield area. Potkinicki will play it back to the defense. Herman has it. Wolves went up here to Mickey. Nolan Mickey losing control. And it's played over near side. McComas plays it back. Sir Lewis blocked at the defense by Nick Paul. And the Falcons will maintain possession momentarily, but now they don't. They lose it. Good defensive play by Watson, but Fitch gets it back now. Although Watson steals it right back across the way. He loses control. Ruggles picks it up. And a lead pass down the sideline. And that is going to be too far for everybody. And it's going to go up the near side or the far sideline. Kept in play by Van Eck. And stolen away by Carson. Ruggles. Blocked at the defense by Watson. Van Eck, oh, nice play to get around Bauer. Kept control of it, but nobody there from Watts, Wadsworth. Ball played back. Potkinicki, a little bit too far for him. Cleared down into the defensive end, and it'll be put in play by Sorrells. Headed off by Gavin Gambasini. Midfield circle, Josiah Bernike cuts right through two. That pass a little bit behind Spalding, but he maintains control. Looking for Ruggles. Potkinicki can't get to it. And taking it out of there is Innocente. Sliding tackle by Carson, but Innocente was knocked to the ground. And that's going to be a foul call, I believe, on Ruggles. So... Right in the midfield circle, a free kick for the Grizzlies. Seven minutes, 19 seconds to go. Second half, one nothing. Wadsworth, ball sent all the way down to the top of the box and a shot and a goal. Oh, what a great goal that time by number 10, Captain Michael Watson. That ball was sent down perfectly, and somehow off the bounce, he was able to control it with his foot and knock it past Jamie Sorrells. And now the Grizzlies lead by two. So the task a little tougher now for the Falcons. Bernay give and go Ruggles a little bit too far as it's cleared away by Gamba Gassini. Gavin Gabancini. Van Eck. That one hit by Bear. Up to Bernay. Kept in play and that goes off the foot of Bauer. Quick throw in. Ball controlled by Russell. Across the way, Van Eck looking at the top of the box, cleared at the defense, out off the foot of Herman. Mickey, stolen away momentarily. Puzz gets it back as he's back on the field. Adrian Puzz being blocked off by number 19, McComas. And McComas will clear it up. And foul called on Ruggles as he shoved Innocente into the Falcon bench. So it'll be a free kick for Wadsworth. And they are in no hurry to put this ball in play. Two to nothing our score. Wad <coughs> Excuse me, Wadsworth with the lead. That one then broken up.
up by Bernie. Takes it off the foot of Watson, out of play. It's going to be a throw in for the Grizzlies, and we got a substitution coming in. Off the bench, number six making an appearance. Ryan St. Inc. Puzz with it. Russell waiting for some help. Plays it back. With it now is Watson. Pass down the far side. A uh, shot is rolled along the ground and wide of the far post coming off the foot of Parker Russell. So it'll be a goal kick for Fitch. Jamie Sorrell's trying to get it into play as quickly as he can. That one off the chest of James. Gets behind Mickey and out of play. So a throw in on this near side for Wadsworth. McComas down this near side, still in play. There battling with a couple of Grizzlies. That one with Russell and James all around there. They forced him to put it over this near sideline. So it'll be a throw in for Wadsworth down to our right on this near side with three minutes and 39 seconds left. Wadsworth with a two to nothing lead, both goals being scored here in the second half. So let's see, Falcons can put together some type of offensive pressure. Puzz with it. Rolls it down. Paul. Herman. Herman sends one over the top of the head of Ruggles. It's get, and it's headed out by the defense. And cleared away by James. Oh, cross the way. Bauer. And nope, they're going to say that Fitch touched that last. So it's going to be a throw in across the way for Wadsworth. Throwing it in is Dominic Gambassini. That one intercepted by Fitch. Carson ends up with it. Bernay trying to get around his opposite number seven, but couldn't as James takes it away. Pass down this near side is way too far. That one intended for number six, Ryan Satnick. So it'll be a throw in. Ruggles. Herman, out of play. So Wadsworth will take it. And once again, out of play. Two minutes, less than two minutes to go here in this one. Two to nothing, Wadsworth. That ball will go across the goal line and be a goal kick for Sorrells. Jamie Sorrells into the midfield area. Bernay. Ball gets past everyone down into the defensive end and coming out is Homick to clear it over the far side. Throw in Bauer. Off the head of Innocente, Bauer gets it back, chips it down in a little closer to the 18-yard box. Falcons have it. Now Bernay, that one will go off of the chest of Charlie Hoffman. Puzz gets it. Paul losing it. And it's sent right back down to Fitch's defensive end, and grabbing it will be Sorrells. He quickly gets it up to Herman. Mickey trying to cut back into the play, sees it go over the line, so throw in for the Falcons. Less than 30 seconds to go. Fitch looking to at least get one up on the board. And 
cleared down by Innocente. 15 seconds to go. Up into the air. Bauer plays it. Spalding. Bernay takes a long pass and Paul in the box and off his head and that will do it. So the Wadsworth Grizzlies come into Greenwood Chevy Falcon Stadium on senior night and put a damper on the festivities by defeating the Falcons two to nothing. So let's recap this one. In the first half, we had no score whatsoever. A couple of opportunities for both teams, but neither could score. Then with 29 minutes and 49 seconds to go, the, one of their captains, Alex Innocente, took a deflection and put it in the net to the right of goalkeeper Jamie Sorrells, and it was one to nothing, the Grizzlies. A little bit later on, the Falcons had an opportunity as Josai Bernai from about 40 yards struck a ball that was just absolutely a line drive comet, and it hit the near side post and did not go in. So he missed a goal by a couple of inches score still remained one nothing then later on with 709 left in the game the falcons unable to clear a ball from inside the 18 yard box it was picked up by another captain of wadsworth michael watson and he put it past the goalkeeper jamie sorrells it was two nothing at that point and the Grizzlies were able to hold on to that lead, and that is our final. So, disappointing loss for the Falcons on senior night as they get shut out by Wadsworth, and they tried their hearts out but just couldn't score. So before we wrap things up, we want to say that the Austin Tom Fitch Athletic Department would like to thank State Farm Insurance Agent Jamie Blott for her continuing support of Austin Tom Fitch Athletics and for making this broadcast possible. Jamie's office is located on Route 46 near Mahoning Avenue in Austin Town. You can stop by the office. You can call her at 330-779-0097. Or you could visit her website, jamieblott.com, for all of your insurance needs. Once again, thank you so much, Jamie Blott. So that will wrap things up here on Senior Night. I would like to, first of all, recognize once again the seven seniors that took the field here tonight for the final time in their senior career on Senior Night. This is their last and only senior night. So that would be uh, number four, Adrian Puzz. Number six, Nick Paul. Number seven, Josiah Bernay. Number 12, Jonathan Carson. Number 17, Jamie Sorrells. Number 23, Nick Tobola. And number 24, Brody Herman. Gentlemen, once again, Congratulations on your soccer career at Fitch High School. You got a couple of games left. Good luck the rest of this season, the rest of this year, and best wishes in whatever chosen field you decide to do in your life. Thank you so much for all your dedication, sacrifice, and time. Also want to thank my crew. Can't do it without these gentlemen. Russell Hauser, the athletic director here at Fitch High School. Chris Lewis, he is our athletic communications specialist, does a great job. And also our technical wizard, as we call him, Tommy Ventresco. Guys, thank you so much. Without your help, needless to say, these broadcasts wouldn't exist either. So I am Lenny Gessler. That'll wrap things up here from Greenwood Chevy Falcon Stadium. 
the next televised home game will be contested on Thursday, October the 6th, when the Boardman Spartans will visit Greenwood Chevy Falcon Stadium. Game time, 7-15. That'll do it here. Once again, the final score on senior night, the Wadsworth Grizzlies 2, your Austin Town Fitch Falcons, nothing.